for the in case the questions are changed. Okay, okay. Cool. Okay, good evening everyone. Um, if you'd like to ask Daddy a question, please raise your hand and the guys can catch you a microphone. Who wants to get us started? No one. No question? <laughs> okay, stand down here. Delhi, obviously another injury up front in um, Stephen Bergwijn. Um, it looks like you might have to play as a, a false nine again as you have been in the last few weeks. Can you talk us through how you felt in, in that role and, and, and say whether you're, you kind of feel ready to, to step up and score the goals Spurs need? Um, yeah, I think firstly, obviously, it's uh, disappointing to see Steve get injured. Um, a new player that's coming and done very well and he's a he's a top guy as well so obviously it's disappointing but I wish him a speedy recovery because obviously he's a great player and a, a great person as well but yeah in terms of position um, you know I think I've shown that I like scoring goals and you know it's something I enjoy doing uh, it's probably not my most natural position uh, probably take a few games to get used to but I think we're in a position where everyone needs to step up um, all over the pitch in every position we need to turn it around and you know I like scoring goals so you must just feel like your luck can't get any worse at the moment with injuries. Just one <laughs> player after another. Yeah, that's football. It's obviously very disappointing. Uh, but this isn't a time to, you know, try and sort of get our violins out. We have to step up. We have to, you know, do all these situations. Um, it's all a part of it. As disappointing as it is, but we have to we have to show our, our character now as a team. The depth we have in the squad. Everyone needs to step up. The players that, you know, maybe haven't been playing as much need to come through and. You know, show what I hear and take their opportunities. So, and and after the in the first leg against RB Leipzig, when when you came off, you looked really frustrated and kind of yeah. chucked your boots <laughs> and, and a water bottle yeah. to the ground. Can, can you kind of talk us through how you were feeling at that moment and what was the reason for your frustration? Yeah, I think you said it. I was very frustrated. Um, I think everyone could see that. Uh, Probably something I haven't really thought about that much since it happened because obviously you switch straight on to the next game. But yeah, um, I was obviously disappointed to have come off for many reasons. Uh, I think if you ask any manager since I was, you know, ever started playing football, I've never liked being subbed or brought off as much as I respect the manager's decision. And I understand that sometimes, you know, when you're losing in the game and you have the mentality that you just want to win and you want to be a part of it and, you know, help the team as much as you can. And yeah, I didn't play very well in that game either. Uh, I didn't help the team as much as I would have liked to, and obviously to come off at one 0 down, sometimes the passion and frustration can you know, get the better of you. And yeah, obviously I should have probably reacted a little bit better, but I care a lot. So Gary here, Danny, hi. You know, we know uh, Harry's still a little way off, yeah. but. Uh, we've seen him for the first time. I don't know how, how often you've seen him for the first, uh, out on the grass today. Still a long way to go. But how much of a boost is it just to see him out there with you guys? Yeah, it's very good. Harry's a, you know, he's an amazing athlete and professional. And every, obviously he's picked up a few injuries now since I've been there. And every time he recovers very well. And you, know, you can see how motivated and dedicated he is. And to see him out there running, uh, I wasn't surprised. Um, because you know, he works so hard every day. And yeah, it's obviously a massive boost. He's uh, even when he's coming to watch the games, you know, he's always speaking and you know trying to motivate everyone, which is good. And he's a real leader, so to see him back out there and you know, as a player, obviously last season I had a few hamstring injuries, so it's a bit of a weird one because I don't want him to rush it because I know how much how much it can come back and you know. But at the same time, we need him as well. So yeah, as long as he just takes it, the recovery properly, and he comes back strong, then I'll be happy. So. Delhi, I keep hearing and reading that Jose Mourinho has got to try and repair a broken dressing room. You're obviously in the dressing room. What's the mood like? And how much of a boost would it be if you were to turn this tie around? Yeah, I think it'll be a massive boost. I think we're not players that's going to hide from the situation we're in. Uh, I think no one in the dressing room can look at where we are in the table and you know, how things have gone this season and be happy with it. I think we wouldn't be where we are if we was. Uh, Ever since we've been here together as a squad and we've been building, you know, we've always sort of been at the top end of the table and fighting for things. And 
to be in a situation we're in now isn't, you know, it's obviously something that's not good for us and not something we're used to. And I think that's probably why it's so strange because none of us have really been in this situation where we've, you know, not been doing as well as we would have liked to and stuff. And I think it's where we have to show our character, uh, show the belief we have in each other. And I think we'll keep doing that. And if you look at everyone in the change room, everyone's hungry to uh, to achieve stuff and to, to turn this around. And I believe, I think everyone in the squad believes that we have to do better and we know that. And the only way to do that is to stick together now and you know come through this difficult moment that we're in and show what we can do. I've got Matt down here and two more. Deli, I, I was just going to take that point on a little bit actually, because since you've been at the club, the, the team as a whole has had almost always positive seasons or certain positive things from all the seasons. and. This season must have been a big, big challenge in the fact that it's the first season where you've had so much thrown at you as a, as a squad. Has it been difficult to cope with? Yeah, I think, like I said, you know, obviously it's just, I think when you're so used to doing well and achieving stuff and everything, like you said, being so positive, when things do start to become a little bit negative and the results aren't going your way, it can be difficult to deal with. But I think, you know, we've had so many amazing experiences together, ups and downs that. This is the difficult moments like this is where we have to show that we are using them in the right way and they're not just things that we're enjoying at the time and forgetting about. We have to use it to, you know, whether it be confidence or just belief in the team, we have to pull through this moment and there's no point going out there on the on the weekend or midweek in the games if you don't believe that we're going to win the game and we can turn this around. So I think all of us have to, to stand together, not just as players but as fans and as a club as well. We have to stick together and turn it around. So. Can I, can I just ask as well, you've obviously got the FA charge at the moment, can I ask how you feel about that? Sorry Matt, that's currently under investigation so we can't come on that right now. So. Right, we've got one more at the back here, then Dave at the front, last one. Hi Daly, um, uh, Martin, um, German media, um, you come here with a 1-0 defeat, um, how do you uh, measure your chances to get through? And second, uh, how did you experience uh, playing against Leipzig, what do you think about your opponents? Yeah, I think they're a very good side. It's going to be a very tough game and we know that, but you know, we have to go into the, the game with a very positive attitude. I think either way we've got to score two goals anyway and we know that, so we have to be on the front foot. At the same time, not be stupid and you know, throw it away. We have to be clever and pick our moments and play well. Uh, we know that, that when they come to our place, they played very well, dominated the game for probably a lot of it, a lot more than we would have liked anyway. So we're coming here and yeah, We've been in situations probably worse than this where we've had to turn it around and we've done that. So we have to go in there with belief. And like I said, they're a very good side. They're a top side and they've got a lot of top players. So we have to be uh, switched on throughout the whole game. But at the same time, we have to believe. So the last one here. Uh, Deli, Deli, does this feel like a defining week? This, you know, you've gone out of the cup. You've got this game, which is decisive. Man United is obviously a very big one. Are you, are you, do you fear that or are you aware that this could be something that can make or break the season the next couple of games? Yeah, I think we have to be. Uh, maybe not make or break the whole season because it's been a season that's been a bit of a strange one for us in terms of results. And you know, like I said, where we are, it's been a difficult season for us. But yeah, we have to, no matter what happens this week, we have to keep fighting until the end. Um, that's the mentality we have to have. But looking into the next game and obviously the game of the weekend, they're definitely big games for us. I think there's been a lot of opportunities where even though the season hasn't been as good as we would have liked it to have been, there's, always, there's still been the chance of you know hanging on and fighting for the top four. And we have to keep doing that. And we've seen the Champions League, we can't keep throwing away opportunities. Uh, and this is an opportunity again to go through. So we have to win. We have to score two goals and we have to play well, but going into the league at the weekend, um, yeah, like I said, we have to pick up as many points as we can and we can't keep letting opportunities slip away from us and just keep believing. I think, it's been, like I said, it's been a difficult season, but we have to keep fighting and keep believing and stick together. Thank you.